Hi, it's Andy again, and uh, I have another video for you on Android Studio. Uh, current version out um, as of today is 1.0.2. Uh, this video is going to address uh, two things. One of them is going to be like a Linux only type thing, and that's how to add uh, Android Studio to the dock and how to make it runnable from that from the dock so you don't have to run the command line every single time. Um, also, the next thing, um, other thing I want to talk about is there seems to be some kind of bug when upda updating Android Studio. Um, I didn't experience this on Linux, but I did experience it on Windows. And uh, for some reason, you can't launch the SDK Manager. Actually, that some reason is because for, it was deleted. Um, there's nothing in the um, in the tools folder, so. Um, I'm going to show you how to fix that and um, how to get up and running again. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is actually go uh, and re-download the SDK package. You don't have to re-download uh, Android Studio and start from scratch. Uh, you can just download the SDK. Uh, go to developer.android.com, select develop, select tools, and then um, installing the SDK right under the download. And I uh, just download the, SD the standalone SDK. Um, if you didn't download the SDK tools, go to download the SDK now. And uh, just pick your platform. So for this one, it'll be Linux, uh, accept and download. So it's going to download that tarball. Uh, while that is downloading, uh, let's talk about how to create this. Uh, little icon here with the correct image because if you run it from the clan uh, the command line you also don't get the new nifty Android Studio um, icon with that so from Android Studio select tools and then create a desktop entry uh, when you do that you'll get this um, you can create a desktop entry for easier starting of Android Studio from your system men menu uh, and uh, better desktop integration. So once you click that, click OK. Um, then rerun it from the command line. Uh, I wasn't able to, uh, oh, it, it may show up here for you as an installed program. You can just run it from there. Um, so select under here, this will be uh, your applications. So if I type in Android, see how it pops up. And then from there, I just pinned it to the, the desktop for me. Uh, if, it, if it doesn't show up there, you can just run it one more time from the command line, which is what I ended up doing. And then I just dragged the icon up and pinned it. Um, so that's how you can easily launch Android Studio uh, in Linux. So we'll do that real quick. You can see it launches. And it's actually, the, all the files are, well, the... Um, my projects are in a different thing, but all the Android Studio files are actually in this folder here on my desktop um, that I kept there from my last video on how to install it. Um, that video didn't have audio for the last 15 minutes, so sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to try to re-record something on how to get you up and running on Android Studio. Okay, so now we have this tarball that's in our uh, download downloads folder. Uh, we are going to go into our downloads and here's our tarball right here um, for Linux I like to just use this and extract it extract it in the same location boom here's our our tarball that's been unzipped and it's actually this folder here you can just copy and paste this into your um, into your SDK. Uh, let's see. I'll put a new window. For me, I made my SDK. Oops. Uh, here. So it's uh, you're gonna copy all of this from the tools, and put it into this tools here. See, I wasn't affected by this bug in um, Linux, but I was in uh, oh, in Windows. But if you just want to have the just use that new folder. What you can do is in any project, uh, if you select File, um, Project Structure, 
this SDK location. You can change the SDK location to anywhere um, to that new file that you just downloaded and um, you, that'll fix the issue as well. Um, if you want to just keep the new freshly downloaded uh, SDK instead. Otherwise, all you need to do is re remove all your tools, folder stuff, and then you'll be able to launch uh, the SDK manager. What it is, is there's a file in there called, uh, let's pull it up. Uh, it's just called Android right here. On Windows, it's a bat file. Um, on Linux, it's just a little script. Uh, but uh, this is the one that actually is your SDK manager. You need this or else you won't be able to run um, the SDK manager. So uh, make sure you just copy this entire folder over. Um, what I had in, I had that actual tools folder, uh, but the only thing that actually came with it was the support. And then the only thing in there was the annotations. None of this stuff was actually in there. So if you want to just copy the entire thing and then overwrite the support, folder um, just go ahead and do so because that'll include the, these other files here as well I don't know how significant they are but um, this way you have everything okay so I hope this tutorial was uh, useful if you like it give me uh, like a little thumbs up or whatever if you didn't you know let me know why and uh, there was no typing on this one so text size was not an issue uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. Have a good day.